Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see the types of server virtualization. First, we can see what is a server virtualization. This is the partitioning of a physical server into a number of small virtual servers, each running its own operating system. We can see, uh, say that these operating systems are known as the guest operating systems and these are running on another operating system known as the host operating system and each guest running in this manner is unaware of any other guests running on the same host so these guest operating systems will run on the host operating system so we can see them in detail the server virtualization generally involves the use of a hypervisor that is a virtual machine monitor or we can say it is a software layer that exists between the operating system and the hardware. This provides the necessary services and features for the smooth running of, the, of multiple operating systems. As there are uh, many guests operating run, uh, systems uh, with, that runs on the uh, host operating system, this hypervisor allocates and manages the resources of the physical server such as CPU, memory and storage among the virtual machines. And a host operating system also runs on top of the virtual uh, of the uh, hypervisor to administer and manage the virtual machines. So this is about the important concept called hypervisor in the uh, server virtual virtualization. Now we can move on to the benefits and this approach provides several benefits including enhanced flexibility scalability and cost savings this is widely used in the data centers and enterprise environments to optimize the it infrastructure simplify the management and streamline resource allocation has become a fundamental technology in this modern computing contributing to the evolution of this cloud computing and efficient deployment of applications and services so these are the benefits of this server virtualization now we can move on to the types of server virtualization and first is the full virtualization here the hypervisor used emulates the, the that is uh, mimics the entire hardware environment allowing multiple virtual machines to run on a single physical server and this traps the machine instructions used by the operating system to perform the IO or modify the system status. Now we can see what is the hypervisor traps and emulates an operating system is designed to have full control of the system we know but when the um, os is running as a virtual machine in the hypervisor some of its instructions may conflict with the host operation system so what does this hypervisor do in this case means it emulates or mimics the effect of that specific instruction or action without carrying it out so in this way the host os is not affected by the guest's action so this is called trap and emulate so in full virtualization this hypervisor does trap and emulate so uh, hope you can you are having some idea about this full virtualization and uh, next we move on to uh, the next type that is para virtualization unlike this uh, full virtualization this para virtualization modifies the guest operating system to be aware of the virtualization uh, layer in the uh, this uh, full virtualization the guest operating system uh, is unaware of the virtualization but here the guest operating system uh, is aware of the virtualization layer 
that is the guest operating system is modified and recompiled before the installation into the virtual machine so due to the modification in the guest operation this uh, emulation and uh, trapping is not done by the hypervisor so the performance is enhanced as the modified guest operating system communicates directly with the hypervisor and the emulation overhead is uh, removed in this case and next type is the hardware assisted virtualization this is similar to uh, virtu full virtualization and uh, para virtualization in terms of uh, preparation except that it requires the hardware support here the unmodified os can uh, be run as the that is here unmodified uh, this uh, unlike this uh, para virtualization this os is not modified and uh, as the hardware support for virtualization would be used to handle hardware access requests privileged and protected operations and to communicate with the virtual machine so this is done in the hardware assisted virtualization Next type of virtualization is the kernel level virtualization and this uh, as we already said uh, this uh, server uh, virtualization makes use of this hypervisor but in this uh, technique of uh, server virtualization the hypervisor is not used instead it runs a separate version of the Linux kernel and sees the associated virtual machine as the user space process that is uh, that that assumes that it is a uh, the virtual machine is a user space process on the physical host so this makes it easy to run multiple virtual machines on a single host this the device driver is used for the communication between the main linux kernel and the virtual machine so in many ways this kernel level virtualization is considered as a special form of server virtualization next is the uh, system level or os virtualization this runs multiple logically distinct environments on the single instance of the operating uh, system kernel as we already said there is a host operating system that runs the uh, guest operating systems that are the virtual machines and uh, uh, here this is a sh uh, also called a sh shared kernel approach as the virtual machine share a common kernel of the host operating system here uh, this hypervisor and all the things are not used and if all uh, virtual servers must share the same copy of the operating system this is uh, named as the system level virtualization so this um, runs multiple logically distinct environments on the single instance of the operating system kernel so subscribe to my channel if you feel contented